going on guys? This is your host, Phantom Knight, aka Mr. Perk himself. And we are here doing a Bushman primitive uh, living quarters. Now, what I did here is built it completely out of Adobe. And I just decorated it up a little bit so you guys can see how you can have it decorated. We're going to go through here after we do this nice go around and show you how you can have everything. So a simple build and we're going to go through real quick and then you guys can see on how to get to build this. Alright so in here we have basic kitchen that you guys need. Remember it is a primitive build so guys this is sticking down to as primitive as it is. You guys can sit there and put it as high end as you guys want it. So we have a simple crafting area with uh, fertilizer makers right there and then we have our storage room right underneath the stairwells to go up and so we're gonna go up to the stairwells and show you what it's like up there so up here we have our carry and delivery some practice dummies our feeding troughs for our dinosaurs that store right here a crop pots that are out in the open a little sitting area and then in here is the bedroom so this is a single, uh, you know, two by two for the little hut that you're going to be living in. But the rest of it is a bigger build. So guys, I hope you guys are going to like this, and we'll see you when uh, we get to building. Okay, guys. So we are here with the foundation set up for you guys. It is a six by seven adobe structure. So we're going to start by placing some of the pillars. So the pillars are going to go on all four corners and then in between along the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to this corner and we're not going to place it on the side there, but we're going to place it on the side here. So as you guys seen, that's exactly where we're going to place it, right there. And so we could place a pillar right there. Now we're going to come all the way over here. And it doesn't matter which side this one's going to be placed on. So it can go either there or there. And we're going to place it. Now this back one, it doesn't matter either. I mean, these ones don't really matter. So it's just that first one is going to be the one that matters. As you guys see, the start out is right there. Okay, so we have our general layout. Now, the reason why we wanted to do this one on the side is because this is going to be your walk-in entrance. So you're going to have one placed right there. You're going to skip one, and then you're going to place one right... Well, obviously, you're going to have to place one in there and right there. So your stairs are not going to be right here, but they're going to be right here, and then you're going to be able to get up. So as you can see we have it where there's a railing in between and then the stairs in the center. So now we're going to move on to the first two pillars right there. So what we're going to do is you come in two. So obviously you can't place one over here so we're going to have to place another uh, fence foundation. And we're going to place it right there so you can place that guy right there. Now we're going to follow through and go all the way into the back and we're going to place the same pillar two in. So get that fence foundation in and then two in on the pillar. So we're literally just following up on there. So we're also going to have some a pillar right in the center here. So we're going to need to place another fence foundation if it'll line up like so. So we can get it right there. Now it doesn't matter if you guys are putting the fence foundations this way if you're placing it this way as long as you can get the snap where they need to go in the general sense so we're gonna have them there and this is gonna be your out back uh, workspace so this is where it's gonna be so our house or the kitchen is gonna be four in so we're gonna count four in so one two three four and now we're gonna place a railing right there so we're gonna have a pillar right there and then right there just like so 
And now this goes for the house upstairs with the living quarters. And we're going to need one right in here. So you're going to count out two foundations because it, remember it's a two by two. And you're just going to place one right there. And then place your foundations or your pillars. Sorry, guys. All right. So the stairwell over here is another two by two. So you're going to take the back corner and you're going to do it two by two and then put a pillar there. So we're going to do that right now. So where our stairs are, well, this is the back living space, I guess. Did it? No, that's stairs. Wow, I'm I am sorry, guys. <laughs> Not used to doing tutorials. So we're going to go back here, go by two by two, and then we're going to place another railing. So we can do this. And this is too wide, so we're going to place another one right there. So as you guys can see, it's right there. And I'll be right back with more okay, stuff. Okay, guys, so we're back here. And this pillar right here is not necessary, so we're not going to actually place this one. I just put it in this build just to set there and test it out see how it looks. It looks okay, but we're not going to use it for uh, the build that we're going to be doing together. So we're gonna actually going to start on doing the height of the pillars so we're gonna go through and we are gonna put the height on every pillar so in the four corners we're gonna uh, make the height too high except for the front here so we're gonna actually make this one too high so we're gonna place all these too high now these back two are actually gonna be higher than the rest I think these are gonna be four high if I'm not mistaken and then this is gonna be too high these are gonna be too high same with this one and this one right here that one actually did not go the way I wanted it there we go too high it doesn't look right. alright there now that looks right. <laughs> so we're just going to have those go higher than what it's going to be like for the top four. So these four corner ones for the housing is actually going to be higher than all the rest by one. So that's going to be the living quarter up there. And I believe those actually go up one more. I'm not certain. We'll get to that when we get to it. Okay, so these ones are obviously going to go up high so we can have the higher living quarters so that is done as you guys can see those are the pillars that are going to be going up and over so we're going to start by placing the walls now so the first thing to do is actually place your doorways because then you get to know where you want your, your stuff to go so this is obviously the entrance for the dinos to get up right here and this is your personal entrance right here so we're going to line it up perfectly like that so you're going to go in two spaces and place your door and then you're going to turn go in two spaces and then place your door in so this should be two and then two so that's how you're going to have this one is right here you're going to put the actual door right up against this pillar so you don't have to worry about that so we're going to place that pillar right there with that door and that's how we're going to line that up and there you go and now we're going to actually get with the walls itself so I'll be back with the next part okay guys so we're back and we're going to be doing the walls now so we're going to place one wall there a wall and a wall now, same thing with this one right there. Now, the one that's going to be in up here is going to be a little bit of a trick to do. So, uh, we'll get to that one when we uh, place it down for the ceilings up above. So, we're going to go in one wall here. We're going to leave two spaces. Place another wall. And we're going to repeat on this side. So, place, skip two places, and place a wall. Now, we're going to come in here, and these are going to be solid walls. To be able to get them to place facing you, it's best to, like, go back and place them. 
if you are on official, just stand there and look forward more. But if you want them to flip, the easier way to do it is you can either use the bumpers or R ones, or you can sit there and stand and face down and place them. So we're gonna place another wall right here, and that's how we're gonna do it. Now, like I said, with the trick we're going to be doing is so that we don't have this showing right here. Because, I mean, when you're in the work spot, you want to look good. So, we're going to wait for the ceilings, and then we're going to be placing those down. So, we're going to go over here, and we are going to place our window frames. So, we don't need these foundations anymore. So, we are going to replace those, and we are going to place our window frames. Just like so. Now once you get the window frames in, you can finish with all the walls. So we're going to place them all on here. And it's just a simple little too high building, guys. And you're probably wondering why the pillars are up higher than the walls. So that it gives a more of an aesthetic please to it when it comes to it. Even though they can be a pain. So... We are going to place it there. Now, we are going to place one right there, but there's going to be another trick that I'm going to show you guys to do. So, if you guys don't like how flat the wall is on here for the door, you can always, you know, do it up a little bit more by placing a ceiling out and then a couple slopes and give it a little bit of an awning. But with this build being a primitive build, we're trying to keep it as flush as possible. Okay, so... We got those down, and now we can technically start working on our ceilings. And by technically, I mean that's what we're going to do. So we are just going to place our ceilings down, and we're going to always start over the house itself so that we get everything lined up true to that, because this is the main initial part. So we are going to want it to line up. Alright, so now we're going to go out past the workshop here. Make sure you do not snap to the pillars and you're actually snapping to the house itself. So that this way everything will line up way better. Okay, so the technique that we're going to be doing is coming up right up here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place an extra ceiling out right here. Now this is a temp ceiling, so you guys that are on official, I would suggest using a thatch uh, ceiling for this, but people that are on creative or on personal worlds, uh, use whatever material you feel best to use for this. So we're just going to put that one out, just like so, jump down here, and we're actually going to go on the inside here, and we are going to aim for this spot, so we want... Oh, we just had it right there. So now we're just going to hit triangle, and we're going to flip in place. Now, it will destroy this one, however, but the technique for this is just we want to be able to do that. So we want to get that blue and then hit triangle again, and now we'll have it popped out. Now, it is going to be popped out right here, but that's okay. That's what we want. So we want this one to come out just like that, and then this one is going to change like so. So now we have double sided walls on each side. And that is the trick for that. So now we can place these walls and be perfectly contented. If I'm done glitching out here. <laughs> I got arc to guys. My own video. Alright, so these are going to be under the stairs, so we're just doing simple placements. Just like so. Now here's where the ramps are going to go. So we're going to place this one with the triangle piece. A regular wall right there. And then another triangle piece. So now we can delete this one right here. And it is good to go. So, let's move on with the next step, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back now, and we're going to actually work on the little hut that goes up on top. 
so that you guys can sit there and have a living space. So these are going to be simple little walls, just going up right here. So one, two, three, four. Now you guys can put window frames all you want, but with this simple build, we are making it nice and cool in the whole aspect of the roleplay. So just like so, and then we're going to place these ones right here, and then our door frame up nice and snug up against there. So now, once we get up here, we're actually going to start with roof. So we're going to place these guys just like that. Now you guys can flip it and make it go the other way and make it, you know, look different from mine, but this is the way I'm doing it right here. Now we're going to use a Dolby slope group, so that's what we're using for this. To give it that nice tile texture. So we're just slapping this on just like so. And there's our little bedroom. Alright, so with that being done, we are going to work on our ramp. Probably should have done the ramp so you guys could have got up there a little bit easier, but we're on it now. So <laughs> we are going to use the uh, wood sloped roofs to do this ramp. Because if you use regular wood ramps, they're too steep and they just don't look good. So we're going to do the wood ramps, or the wood roofs, because they look how you know, ramps should be. Alright, so that's how we have this up right here. And now we can get up and down, just like so. Easy peasy, up and down. So, this is how it looks. Nice, perfect, little snug, and we'll be right back with the next step. Okay, and we're back, and now we're going to be placing the wood ramps and the adobe railings. Now you guys can use any materials to do any of this build, but I'm still sticking with the Adobe to be able to make it look that much more better. So we're going to place our wood ramps right here, and our Adobe railings right there. So, the wood ramp, we're going to line up straight with the door, and place it down just like that. Make sure it's on the lowest snap point, so you get that one little piece of the Adobe foundation sticking through, like so. Now, you're going to have it where it's going to place up like this. Just cycle through so you can get that lower snap. And to be able to achieve that, you can hit the R bumper or the R1 if you're on PlayStation. Now, the ramps are all done. We're going to work for our Adobe railings. So, we're just going to place these guys nice and subtle in here just like so. And make sure you go all the way around the entire build placing these. And it's going to give this that little bit of open feel now closed off. Now when it comes to this one, you have the choice if you want to put this as a ramp or if you want to make this a railing. Me personally, I think it looks good as a railing instead of a ramp. So we're going to place these all along the top up here. We forget these two. And there you go guys. We have the Bushmasters little house, you know, I don't know what to really call it. The Bushmaster's House uh, Grotto, I guess. No. We'll come up with a name for the uh, the title. So definitely, definitely click that like button if you guys like this. And if you want to see more builds like me actually doing build tutorials, definitely smash the like for that. And comment down below if you guys want to see other kinds of builds. I am more than happy to do that. Now I know I do have a build that is coming up, or a couple builds coming up, where we're going to have a some pens, and then we're going to have a treehouse build. Once I figure out how to master in those treehouses, then 
darn it, they will get mastered. But guys, I hope you did like this video. Definitely share it out to friends, you know, comment, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.